David Schechter is back with uh, what he does, a Verify that takes a look at a fascinating Texas-sized problem. This area is still kind of slowly sinking. May I read you a headline from my phone here? Absolutely. Large portions of West Texas sinking at alarming rate. New report finds. There it is. Oh my gosh. That's so. just a giant hole. I feel like any rate would be pretty alarming if, if it were just sinking down. There's no good rate of sinking. The research is funded by NASA, and I'm going right to the guy that did the report, Dr. Zhang Lu. He's a geophysicist at SMU who studies the Earth using satellites. This area sinking at a half meter per year. Whoa. That's more than a foot and a half. And Lu says that's alarming because that much change to the Earth's surface might normally take millions of years. Here's a good look at what he's talking about. This is an old oil well site. The tan area shows sinking from 2011. The brown area is from 2016. In that time, the sunken area has spread almost 240%. You decided here is about 50 centimeters per year, what I'm referring to here. Right at that crossroads? Yes. Right where those two roads meet, it's yes. sinking 50 centimeters a year. Yes. In this area that you're studying, yes. is oil and gas the cause of the sinking? related to oil and gas activities. Oil and gas activity is causing the sinking in, in West Texas? Yes. I'm near the town of Wink, Texas to see this for myself. Okay, you really wouldn't know there's a sinkhole here, just no. to look. Dr. Bob Trentham is a geologist at the University of Texas Permian Basin in Odessa. He's showing me there are places where the earth is just kind of sagging, but then there's also this. A huge sinkhole in Wink, Texas. There's Wink Sink 1 right that there. That looks like it got hit by an asteroid from outer space. <laughs> what the heck is happening here? This area of West Texas is called the Permian Basin. And Bob says under the earth's crust here, there's up to 1,000 feet of salt. Bob says oil drillers in the 50s pumped water below the salt layer to increase oil pressure, making the oil flow faster. Over time, some of that water has leaked, washing out the salt. With nothing to support the crust, it falls in. They've had to um, abandon and, and decommission a couple of uh, oil storage tanks over there. So that would be oil pipeline, you think? An oil pipeline. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And what's happened is because of the, because, uh, you know, I'm talking about different pieces moving in at different rates. Yeah. And it caused that to pop up. So this is a dormant. This, th this, oh, was, this was dormant before it happened. Yeah. Is the geology so unique here that it's, this phenomenon is only going to happen in this area? In the Permian Basin. Yes. Because we don't have that same kind of scenario existent in North Texas, Central Texas, or East Texas. Close to the Wink Sink is an even bigger sinkhole, Wink Sink number two. The earth surrounding it is cracking and sagging towards the hole, and you can see new rocks about to fall in. So this has to go in that spot down there? On top of the nail. All of this movement is being measured by scientists and students who are using GPS. Okay. Basically take 50 measurements from this from location. From this location, yes. And then you take, and then you go do that at 40 locations. Oh, 40 locations, yes. Oh, that's a lot of data. You think there's any snakes down there? There yeah. might be. I hope not. So you need to be careful here. That's like, oh, nothing. <laughs> no, I think that was nothing. See. I would say this. This area is definitely sinking. This area is and I, sinking. You can see it, right? You can see it. How new is this depression here? Depression is old. It's not new. Uh, so this... Like 100 years or 1,000 no, years no, or no, 10 no, years? No, no, no. Uh, it's like 20, 30 years. 20, old. 30 years mm -hmm. this happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Driving up on this and seeing it was very surprising. 50 miles to the south in Imperial, the Earth is also sinking. Over the last 15 years, satellite images show a new lake has formed. And this is a road 
and it's going down and it stops at the end of the lake. Presumably this was a road that went all the way across at some point. And nearby the sagging and sinking is causing a highway to slide down this hill. The Department of Transportation has already spent a million dollars shoring it up and may reroute it altogether for another 15 million. So is West Texas sinking? Well, obviously, not all of it is falling into the abyss, but technically, the answer is yes, there are some contained areas that are sinking. But it's hard to know the scope of this total problem because scientists have only looked at 5% of this massive area. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email. You know, David's on Twitter right now talking about those massive sinkholes. You can join the conversation with the hashtag verify this.